Can we get started now? Yeah. All right. Hey, what is going on, everyone? I'm Joseph Lombard, a.k.a. Into SC4. This is Zachary Lombard, a.k.a. Magnum of Five. And Hello. welcome to the very first Lombard Bros talk show that we are going to start doing once a week. Um, it will not be every Wednesday. We'll probably move it to Thursday or Friday, but uh, we just thought we started today. Um, so it's not going to be Wednesdays we're going to do this. So probably most likely Thursdays and Fridays. So I'm going to change the schedule around a bit, so keep an uh, keep an eye out on that. So, anyway, so how's everyone doing? Um, what this talk show is about is that we'll talk about topics, games, or just just random stuff, you know? Right. You know, because people like it when we talk about random stuff. So it's like we thought we'd make a little fun show. It's going to be an hour long uh, each week. So um, hope you uh, will enjoy. By the way, I also have a camcorder set up recording this talk show as well, just in case if something happens to go wrong. During the live stream, we have a backup, and that's the uh, camcorder. So, anyway, how's everyone doing? So, it is, um, so it's like 411 over here, you know? Right. And it's been a, you know, you know, it rained earlier. It kind of sprinkled earlier. Yeah, I noticed. It did. Yeah, it sprinkled er earlier. Yet, most of the outside is sunny, but this dark cloud came over and it just, like, you know, started drizzling and stuff. So, uh, anyway. So, random stuff about this talk show, like I said, topics, gaming, and stuff like that. Um, we got our studio. This, you know, we, we, Zach and I have been playing on doing this talk show for about two years now. But then when the studio thing came up, I mean, we planned the studio thing uh, a year ago. Right. And uh, it fi it's finally finished. Uh, studio's all done. By the way, this will not be our setup. This is. I know this looks unprofessional. Uh, we'll have a better setup, hopefully by next week or two. So, uh, but yeah, it's a good start. And uh, yeah. So um, anyway, so Zach, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. You know, um, I went on a morning walk this morning. Yeah. And uh, you know, you can look at me, right? It's gonna be like this and stuff. So. Um, well. God, there. <laughs> I'm gonna have to teach him. You know. So uh, we don't really have to look straight like this, Zach. Well, excuse me. <laughs> you know, because we still need to, like, look at each other. I mean, you can look over there, too, but, you know. But, of course, we need to talk. So anyway, first first show ever. We'll get better at it. Just a... <laughs> right, so just a start. <laughs> just a start. Um, we There will be another live stream later tonight. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to be playing yet. Actually, I want to play uh, the new MLB game. I got the new MLB uh, MLB, uh, the show 16, and, uh, thought I, uh, play that later, and, uh, see, it's so annoying, I have no service on my phone, and I, you know, I'm trying to post on Instagram that, A, I got, there's, uh, you know, anyway, oh, here we go, finally, it posted on Instagram, anyway, so anyway, so, what do you want to talk about? How was your day? Seriously. Uh, my day's going so well so far. How about your day? Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's okay, you know. Not, not like, spectacular, but not boring either, so. Right. I really can't complain. I went on a morning walk this morning, and um, it was real nice. Uh, actually, I haven't walked outside and uh, took a walk around the neighborhood in a long, you know, for a while, I should say, you know, because right. I've been so busy. And, like, Sometimes I get up at five in the morning, Zach, and I'm already in the studio working on stuff. I don't yeah. know if you noticed that. No, I didn't. Yeah, because you usually come in here around seven or eight o'clock, right. you know. So, uh, and I'm already in here at five a.m. working on stuff. So it's, uh, you know, it's pretty interesting. So, um, oh, I turned off your phone, and but I need the chat again. I'm trying to remember your phone password. <laughs> but uh, let me see. Let me find your. God, you have so many apps. It's ridiculous. All right, so, um, all right, so it looks like everything's going. All right, yeah, I just want to make sure the audio was. Yeah, I went on a morning walk this morning. Yeah, that's the quote right there. So, anyway, um, no, we're not going to play NASCAR 15 later. That's only on weekends. I've mentioned that on my last live stream, too, if you weren't watching. I even mentioned it in the last time I played NASCAR 15. Yeah. Online stuff with fans are usually on weekends, I'm planning, so, yeah. So, no, this is not NASCAR headquarters. <laughs> um, anyway, um, 
So, yeah, I went on a morning walk this morning, and then uh, that's basically much it. I've been working in the studio. Right. Um, you know, and it's kind of weird now just getting, getting up and actually having to leave your bedroom to – uh, go somewhere else to make videos now. It's been kind of weird the last few days because yeah. I've been making videos in here instead, instead of my bedroom where I used to go, you know? Right. And then my desk right next to my bed, and I'm filming it. So I basically had an office slash bedroom, but now it's just a regular bedroom right now. And it just looks weird now that I don't have like that setup anymore up in there. Right. You know, it's kind of more open space because when I did YouTube videos in there, it, it was getting, like, crammed, you know? Right. And I just was just so happy and relieved that it finally moved out of here and stuff. So, yeah. So, anyway. Um, yeah. When are you two going to play Versus again? That's always every Saturday. I don't know how long you subscribed to us for, but we've done every Saturday. So, yeah. I'm Ever since this build, building came, came along, Zach, you know, finished and stuff, I felt like I've been more busy than I've ever had. Right. You know? So, uh, anyway. Um by the way, people has been wondering when we were gonna show off the studio in on my channel or stuff, and I mentioned uh, Saturday and right. stuff. So keep an eye out on that. So hopefully, so we'll just see. So anyway, that's just been my day so far. I've been I feel like like I said I've been busier ever since uh, we moved in here. You know. So, right. Anyway, what did you do in your day? Um. No, just work on. Trying to do edit videos. What did you edit today? Well, I'm I'm tr I've been trying to edit videos, but been having internet connection problems. You don't need to edit. You don't need the internet to edit videos. Really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You need internet to upload it, but right, yeah. you don't, you need, you don't have to use internet to edit a video. Right. You just said right, but then right, you thought well, we had to use internet. Well, see, there, I was going to upload these videos sooner, but ever since we started having a connection problems, I wasn't able to do so. <sighs> Future reference, you don't need internet for editing. Okay. For uploading, yes, because YouTube is on the internet, you know? Right. Obviously, that makes sense. But, you know, <laughs> people are, like, giving you face palms, sec. Like, Seriously. Of course. <laughs> uh, so, anyway, I mean, people are watching right now. 75 people watching right now. Thank you very much for watching. Um, so, any <laughs> right, Zachary2016. Anyway, um, you know, so nothing else happened in your day? No. Really? It. But I was in here working. You went to Circle K a, a little while ago, and you went to get a Powerade, and you didn't ask me for one. Sorry. <sighs> Such a dumb dumb. You did ask me for lunch earlier, and right. I did say no. So, right. you know, um, yeah. Anyway, so yeah. Um, if people can see, I will show it off. I'll show it off in a video on Saturday. Um, how many game concerts we have? So Zach, it, mm -hmm. over here at this desk over here, it's just so many consoles. Right. So many. I only own four of them. You own like. 12 consoles and right. most of them are retro and stuff i see the atari over there i see the gamecube the nintendo 64 the sega genesis the wii the ps1 ps2 and stuff i mean all is all that stuff is over there you know the nintendo um yeah it's ridiculous over there zach and yet i got my ps4 xbox one ps3 and xbox 360 right and uh, also, also, we got the Wii U in here as well. well of course. So, anyway. Um, oh, did, okay. So, I was live streaming last night, and now I'm seeing it on here now. People want me to turn left into a tree. Really? Do you think I should do that? I mean, it would be content. Now, should I use a car, or should I, I just run, turn left, and run into a tree? Should run in. Run into a tree? Yes. Because I think by car, I'll die. Yeah. But should I record it? And yeah. stuff, yeah. Yeah. Pe people wants me to uh, do a uh, run into a tree, like turn left and run into a tree. Um, yeah. Oh, what inspired us to do a talk show? Um, you know how uh, 
a few YouTubers do podcasts and stuff. Well, I really got inspired by Rooster Teeth doing like podcasts and stuff. And I, like I said, I've been wanting to do this talk show for a couple years now. But then when we had this studio plan come up uh, um, a year ago, um, I thought, okay, we'll just wait on the talk show thing. So really Rooster Teeth uh, inspired me to start this talk show. I think it's a really cool thing uh, to do so. So anyway, I'm just, yeah. So <laughs> just tap a tree. Yes. Someone said I should use a skateboard? Use a bike. I don't know. I feel like running into it would just be funnier. Right. Cause you, like, because on a skateboard and a bike, it, you know, you can at least... Well, I think it would just be fun to see my face get smashed into the tree. Yeah, yeah. You know, that, that'd just be the funniest part. Do not run, but why? Just walk into the tree, but they wouldn't hurt that way. So what's the fun of that? Exactly. <laughs> So, um, anyway, what, what were we at? So, we were at the consoles over here, you know. And, like I said, you have so many over here, Zach. It's ridiculous. Right. If you have to um, um, price all that out, how much do you think you've spent on these consoles? Um, well, retro game consoles could be expensive nowadays. Right, but where did you get these off? Well, some of them I got off Amazon, eBay, and at a game store. And where would you find that game store? In a game store called Game Dude. Mm -hmm. More information. It's in North Hollywood. All right. Just for those people that lives around in California, Southern California and Hollywood area and stuff, LA area, Game Dude in North Hollywood. Just go there. That's where Zach goes. How well, often do you go there? Well, not all the time. I I go, also go to a local game store here called the Game Exchange. Yeah, there's a Game ex Exchange over here. Yeah, where we live. Um, I'd never been to Game Dude. I know. So when are you gonna take me? Uh, what is Game Dude like? Oh, well, uh, they do sell like old retro game consoles and games, but they also sell like brand new stuff there too. Is it a big place or a small place? What is it? Like, it's actually bigger than the Game Exchange. It's almost like a warehouse kind of looking deal. Ah. Uh, okay. God darn it. And see, what's so bad about services? Yeah. No service. I can't get any texts right now. And I bet uh, Manju's been texting me right now. And it's just like I can't get any service. Right. So it's so annoying. Like... Someone says you should use a hoverboard to run into a tree. I'm just going to... Yeah, I mean, I'm getting really annoyed right now. I know. The snow. I don't know why I'm not getting any service. That's what ticks me off. I'm not even getting service on my computer here. Oh, my God. This is so stupid. I mean, really. I mean, I, I left the house a couple hours ago, and I never got service again. Mm. And then I'm not. I can't even connect to the Wi-Fi in here. It's just that sucks. Yeah, it, I don't know, understand why. So, um, hold on. See, look. I mean, I'm connecting to the Wi-Fi, but it still says no service. God, I. God, this is so annoying. Hold on. Hold on. Hey Joe, someone's asking us. Do you have a car? Yeah, I have a car. Where do you think? How how do you think I go to places like exactly. the track and stuff? Exactly. <laughs> like, hold on. I'm just. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. So yeah, you can keep talking to them. All right. Just say random stuff. Just All yeah. Right. You can guys ask us any more questions if you like. Let's see. Zach, just say well, stuff. I know. Sorry. I don't know what to say. Why? Wait a minute. You don't know what to say. Like, next question. Can Joe drive? Yeah, he can drive. I've done vlogs on it before. I know. He, they've seen me drive. I mean, how did I get to the track? How did I get to Auto Club Speedway a couple weeks ago? It's not like you went with me. You didn't go with me. Dad didn't go with me. So it's like... <laughs> How do I get there, you know? Okay, somebody's asking me, what is your favorite game? Well, 
For the PlayStation 1, it would be Need for Speed 3 Hot Pursuit. Yeah? Yeah. Really? That's your favorite game? Yeah. Man. There's also more particular games I like from other consoles as well. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I would, I, I think I need to take my phone up to Verizon. Because it's just annoying. The last couple of hours, I have got no connection whatsoever, and it's so ridiculous. Yeah. Ha! <sighs> I know, getting no connection sucks. Yeah, it does. I mean, it just really sucks. You know, because I was going to use this for uh, the chat and everything, and then all of a sudden, I got nothing, you know? So annoying! <laughs> Yeah, it's just annoying. It's like, where's your Instagram on here? Okay, uh, golly, you have so many apps. It's ridiculous. I'm trying to see if my uh, post went up, so that's why I'm going on your uh, Instagram to look at my page, see if my uh, Twitch thing. Let's oh, see. no, 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 no. Screw Time Warner Cable. What? Someone says that we should probably change it. No, to I think mom, mom talked to mom talked to me earlier that we were probably going to move to Direct TV. Really? Yeah, we might do that because the neighbors over here mm -hmm. uh, has Direct TV, and they said they love it. They rarely get any issues. All right, with stuff. So mm -hmm. um, we tried Time Warner before, and it sucked. I know. It and did. let me tell you something. Um, I should tell you a story. Um, so one day I went on the Time Warner site. Mm-hmm. And I looked at the ratings for this county and stuff of California. Yeah. A thousand reviews, one star. Yeah, yeah. And Zach saw it. I mean, it was ridiculous how many people hated a, um, hated Time Warner in this county of California. I, I just thought that was reviews, so funny to look at that. And now, um, you know, AT and T and Direct TV over here used to work together, right? Really? But now they dropped out, mm. and uh, I actually now they're that. now they're in separate services. Well, people are telling us right now that Direct TV is perfect. Yeah. Well, some services work in certain areas, you know, because right. like um, AT and T here worked for a while. Yeah, it worked it did. for a long time. I mean, what we got AT and T in uh, what two thousand eight, you know. We got AT&T in 2008, and just this past year, it's just been like, you know, just gone down, you know? Yeah. And we just don't understand what's the problem. I'm not sure if it's the area we live in, which there's a thing where you can look up. Um, it'll, it'll give you a Google map of your area, and it'll give you, like, how good your connection service is around the area. We're at orange and red area. We're kind of, like, in a little dead zone. That's why I always run... Ethernet cables, especially when I'm on my computer um, playing online gaming and stuff. Right. You know, I just use all of that. And, uh, you know, it's, <clears throat> it's just ridiculous how AT&T has just gone down to crap okay. this last year and stuff. Oh, someone's asking me, what is your dream car? Well, my dream car is a 1975 Dodge Royal Monocle <sighs> four-door hardtop. Okay. Zach. Sorry, I just, just wanted to answer. Stay on topic, please. Sorry. I don't want to lose track and stuff. Yeah, I mean, we can talk about other things uh, when we finish the topic and stuff. Sorry. You know. No, the Lakers are not going to make the playoffs. Do you follow NBA? Lakers are garbage right now. Actually, the last good year they had was their last championship in 09 and 10. That was really their uh, last year. Yeah, Lakers been eliminated for a long time. Let's just say that. Right. They... Lakers are garbage. I mean, really. I haven't followed the NBA in the last couple of years because it's just, no, I just can't deal with watching my favorite team suck so bad, you know. So, anyway, no, I don't, yeah. And, yeah, I just, <laughs> screw that. So, um, what was I going to say? I, I was going to say something else and I forgot. Was it something about DirecTV? What? Or was there something about DirecTV? Or yeah, anything? mom says she wants to. Uh, well, I mean, this is mom and dad's decision because they uh, own the services and stuff. Right. But they want to. Uh, they want to uh, try to move to DirecTV. Well, if DirecTV TV has a lot, if it has a lot of great reviews, then let's go for it. Well, I mean, people says, like I said, 
mom told me that they had direct tv and they said they love it they rarely yeah. have any problems so i would figure that maybe if we have it maybe it would be good like i said some uh services work in some areas like it depends on the area you right. live in you know like i said time warner when we had time warner the oh internet shut down like about every hour or two i know it was so annoying it, we just couldn't deal with it anymore so we went back to at&t and it, AT&T worked for a while, but it seems like the past few days, AT&T's been crap. Yeah. It's really crap, you know? So, I, I just have no idea. I have no idea what's going on with AT&T lately. It's just ridiculous. And now, what's the suckiest part is that I can't get any service on my phone, which is so dumb. And, uh, oops. It's just really, really annoying, you know? Yeah. So, anyway, just trying to... I'm going to move your Twitch app to the front page. There you go. So, do do I know anything about NASCAR 16 at the moment? No. Um, you know, I haven't heard anything lately from Duesenberry Martin Racing um, since we last... Um, um, since we last went to... Uh, went to charlotte you know almost a couple months ago yeah so um yeah well people are see this is how much i we know about direct tv people are saying it has no internet and cable yeah no internet and cable yeah because we never had direct tv yeah nascar 16 ain't coming out till the fall i'm hearing so uh which whatever you know I'm still waiting for that NASCAR 15 update whenever that's going to show up. I need to ask them when if they have any more information about it because I would like to give out more of it. So, uh, anyway, now I'm not getting any pictures, Zach, on your freaking... God, Lee. Ugh. Okay, hold on. Okay, I had to, like, restart that. All right. Right. So, anyway. Yeah, hopefully... Uh, our internet will go better and stuff. Yeah, hopefully so. I don't so. know what's been going on with AT and T the last few days. It's just been, it, it's been stinking, you know. Right. It just stinks. So, whatever, what if? So, anyway, it's just the way it goes, you know. Right. So, how are you doing? I'm doing good. How about you? Yeah, <laughs> just trying to. <laughs> is the camera really on? Fo oh yeah, it is. Okay, just a little bit. Camera's a little blurry. Sometimes it'll take time to focus. That happens. Especially with webcams. That'll, every once in a while, uh, the focus will kind of go like right. around. Sometimes it could be because of the affecting of the lighting and stuff, which, you know. So, anyway. Yeah. So, I really don't know. Uh, you know, this, we got a, I wouldn't say it like a, busy uh busy week uh but um but let's say a busy saturday because right. saturday morning we're going to the rose bowl because they have the autism speaks walk that we go to every year which i'm surprised it's at the beginning of april they usually have it at the last saturday of april yeah but it's at the first saturday of april this year and it's like it just came up on us um mom found that out on monday that it was uh this saturday and we're just like oh my <laughs> gosh you know so right. we just didn't <laughs> you know right um it's just uh but yeah zach and i like to go to these autism walks we went uh we've been going to the autism walk at uh, the rose bowl since what 2010 or something like that no I, 2009 really yeah i didn't go in 2009 well i did you did i've been going since 2010 oh yeah okay i forgot why i didn't go in 2009 i think i wasn't feeling well that day if i remember but uh we also went uh yeah, um, we um went to the autism walk in San Diego last September. Right. And nice, and nice where they did the walk too, because it was right by this river and stuff. You know. Right. I thought that was pretty cool. It was around the park and by the river and stuff. So that's just pretty cool. Um, I might vlog when we go to the autism walk. Yeah. I'm really not sure yet. I I'm thinking about doing that as well. Well, if you're gonna do it, I guess I might as well do it. So. Yeah whatever so let's see 
I just wish I could get service. That's just the annoying part. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I'm still frustrated by it, you know? I mean, I, like, I literally have to leave this house to get service. I might, after this talk show, uh, go to up to uh, Verizon and get that taken care of. Right. Because I'm not going to deal with this no service thing for, yeah, it's just going to be annoying, you know? Right. Anyway, yeah. Yeah. So, um, heard of any news lately? Um, like, anything you want to talk about? Like, like about life event and stuff? No, not You know, much. last week uh, in Belgium, they had a bomb yeah. uh, at, at the airport and stuff. And then what happened, uh, I think it was Sunday, uh, there was another bombing. But I, I forgot where it was at. But there was another bomb, but it was at a, at a playground during an Easter event. Of course. And stuff. So, um, you know, it uh, it sucks. I mean, I don't know what's been going on with this past week with the just uh, bombings and stuff, you know. Right. Um, so, um, anyway, uh, it looks like we're, uh, half, half an hour into this talk show, so we have another half an hour of doing this, you know, you know, so, so, yeah, whatever, so, I said, I, uh, yeah, <laughs> so, it's just, uh, yeah, this last week and stuff with these bombings just been ridiculous i know it has and it's so sad too it really is um you know i just uh i can't watch the news anymore i know the last time i watched the news was uh uh back in the 2012 in december it's when uh um that school shooting happened that school shooting in that elementary school uh, at sandy hook elementary in uh, connecticut yeah. when like 30 kids got shot and killed by a machine gun and stuff. Yeah. That tore me up. And I'm like, I can't watch the news anymore, you know? I know. Is my webcam really that blurry? It's not really that blurry from what I'm seeing. Uh, yeah. Whatever. It's not that blurry. People are saying it's like potato cam right now. <laughs> I don't know what they're looking at. My end, it looks like it's good. So, uh, anyway. Um,. <laughs> But yeah, it's just uh, you know, I just haven't watched the news since. I mean, every right. once in a while you get these like good stories, and that's the stuff I like to watch, you know. But when it's stuff when people are getting shot and killed or stabbed, it's just abused and stuff. I know uh, these terrorists and stuff. It's just, it's just like I can't watch it, you know. Right. The last time Mom watched the news full fully was Hurricane Katrina. Because, you know, they were showing footage of how you see dead bodies just floating in that water in this flood, you know? Yeah. And it's just ridiculous, you know? So, anyway. this People are telling me to turn this thing sideways. So that it looks fine to me. Huh, hold on. Let me see if I... Hello? Focus! Let me see. Let me see if I can get focus again. I'm going to have to check it Okay. <laughs> Let me, uh, yeah. Yep, Joe's going under the table. Hello? Hello. Oh, <laughs> hold on. I'm getting it focused. I'm trying. <laughs> That'd be funny if it's just because of this, you know? Nice close up, Joe. Hey, thanks a lot, man, you know? Oh, <laughs> uh, oh, oh, oh. God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, there goes your headset. Yeah, my headset's gone. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this. I really need to do a better job at this, uh, yeah. If watch it gets blurry again as soon as I walk away from there, yeah? Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> I was just trying stuff, you know? So, alright, so, anyway, enough of, uh, terrorist and stuff. I can't right. talk about that for long. So, uh, by the way, this eye is feeling better. Yeah, I know it's about what happened the other day. Yeah, um, if you people, uh, follow me on Instagram, I posted a video the other day where I was hanging out with Anju Manju. And uh, what happened was is that um, Anju was uh, she was tired that day. Yeah. And uh, she was laying in the back seat of my car, you know, just laying there, you know. Yeah. And Manju and I are in the front seat, you know, talking. And Manju looks back, right, to check on her and stuff because it looked like she fell asleep back there. Yeah. And so she looked back, and um, she, when she looked down like this. Um, I was looking back for a while too, mm -hmm. 
But I was trying to move in closer. As soon as I moved my head closer like this, Zach, her head came up and wham, it got me Ouch. in the eye. It just, it just got nailed in the eye. Yeah, just, I know. Uh, she went to the doctor to get that checked out. Yeah, well, it didn't hurt that bad. What happened was is that, um, it, like, after it happened, uh, it felt better. Yeah. But then an hour after I got home, after seeing them, um, it got, it was starting to hurt again. And when I touched right here, mm -hmm. uh, even if I touch it just a little bit, it still hurts. But it's better than what it was yesterday. But um, but when um, um, when I touched right here, it hurt so bad, you know. So the next day, yesterday, I went to the doctor and uh, checked on it, and uh, it was a twenty dollar visit. They yeah. first did an eye exam on me just to check the vision stuff i like i didn't lose the vision all but my eye was kind of like this like a little bit closed they told me there was a blister a small blister in here so what they had to do they had to bring their doctor in they had to numb this area up mm -hmm. and they had to poke a little needle in it to get Ouch. the blister out just right here next to my i i can see them about to put the needle right Ouch. here and stuff and i you know i had my eye closed like this yeah. I can't feel them doing it, you know, right? because they numbed it. They would numb the area around your eye because, you know, they don't want it to hurt, the needle to hurt around your eye and stuff, you know. You know, it just, yeah. You know, like I said, if you haven't seen the video yet, it's on Instagram. It's a 15-second clip on my Instagram account. You can see my Instagram link uh, on the bottom right of the screen, um, x underscore into sc4 underscore x and stuff. So, uh, anyway, it could have been worse. She, Manju felt so bad. Yeah. The, the most regret she had, though, was she was laughing her ass off um, when it happened and stuff because she didn't know how serious it was. And to be fair, I did laugh, too, because yeah. I didn't know how serious it was either. You know, I thought it was just a little bang like this, and it was fine, you know. So, um, but... Like five or ten minutes later, after it happened, she felt so horrible. She was about to be, in, she was about to cry. She really was, because she really thought she hurt my eye real bad and stuff. Yeah. And I told her, I keep telling her, the worst case scenario, I could have been blind. You know, right. I told her it could have been worse. I could have, there could have been damage to this eye, or I could have been blind. You know. Right. It was just a small blister. The next day, when I told her I had to go to the doctor and. uh uh, fix this. She felt so bad too and, and stuff. She felt really bad and she called me uh, later that day and just she just felt so bad. And I keep telling her it's okay. It's okay. You know, it's not like it's not like she saw me behind her. You know, she was looking down and then as soon as I moved my head down, she moved her head up. So it's not like she had eyes in the back of her head, right? So she, when she moved up, my eye hit. You know, she, her head hit my eye. So it's not like she knew about it. She just said the most regret she has is her laughing about it. Yeah. She didn't know how bad it was, but you know, by uh, when she heard that it started hurting real bad, she's like, "I feel so bad just I, I, that I laughed about it." You know, and I'm like, "It's okay. It's okay." You know, but she's fine now. She uh, she's all right. She, um, her and I talked right. and stuff, and uh. You know, she, you know, she still feels a little bad, but not as bad, you know. So, accidents happen, you know. Of course. <laughs> it just sucks. Another accident I had that day, it wasn't, like, serious, though. Um, what was it? I, <laughs> I've dropped my cell phone, like, five or six times that day, too. Wow. I could have sworn this, this phone would have been broken five or six times. But thank God for this phone case, because I've never dropped my phone... I, I rarely, honestly, drop my phone and stuff. But that day, for whatever reason, I kept dropping my phone on the ground and stuff. Uh -huh. But this protective case really protects. I mean, I can do this, and yeah. the phone's fine. You know? The phone's fine. See? Yeah. Scream. Phone's fine. So, uh, anyway, I should stop doing that at <laughs> least, you know? Now, <laughs> remember the day when we went to go get these phones and we... Uh, told the guy how protective why these cases are he said these cases are good even if you did this or drop and stuff i told him now what about chucking it like if you chucked it on the floor or into a wall mm -hmm. would that would that 
break the phone and stuff. I wouldn't do it. He told me, oh, I would recommend not doing it, you know. Good. So <laughs> it was like, uh, anyway, but it was just pretty funny. Yeah. But yeah, you could just go like, <laughs> like that, you know, and nothing happens to the phone. <laughs> Throw it against a tree. See, now here we go. Back to this tree thing, you know. Yeah. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. We got 15 more minutes of this talk show. All right. So, uh, oh, you know what? Speaking of, you know, the girls that we meet, people are still asking, are we dating? I know. You know, which honestly, and you know, people probably see that more with Manju and I than you and Anju, you know? Right. Or stuff like that. Because, um, People always ask us, are you and Manju dating? Here's the thing. If Manju and I were dating, I would have said something. Exactly. I would have announced that. On, I would have announced something on YouTube. I Because obviously people are going to know sooner or later if we're dating or not, right? So I said before that, um, that, and even mom mentioned this too, like, you know, if you two are dating, you should at least let people know so they don't be... They don't think it's obvious, you know? So, uh, I mean, I wouldn't hide that fact behind my back that we're dating and stuff, you know? Right. But, uh, you know, but she she told me that, uh, and I'm the same way too. She's in no rush of being in a relationship, and same with me too. Honestly, even in high school years, I didn't give a rat's ass about dating anyone because I just yeah. didn't care, you know? I just like, all right, let's just see where my life goes, you know? So, um, you know... So, anyway, it, it's, but, you know, we, she sees those questions asked all the time, too, and she sees it, you know? Right. And we always get these questions asked, are we dating and stuff? And honestly, at this point, Manju and I have been going along with it, with people asking us, because sometimes it could be new subscribers that don't know, you know? And we, we just try to tell them, but then at this point, it's kind of funny to read those questions and comments if we're dating and stuff, you know? And, um... We're just going along with it. We laugh about it and stuff, you know. So, uh, anyway, I would definitely announce something if Zachary and I are dating and stuff. So, right. I would not hide that fact because sooner or later people will start getting obvious and stuff, you know. So, anyway, if we're dating, we will definitely let you know. Um, but we're not dating, so that's why we haven't let you know that we're not dating. So, because we're not dating. So, anyway, that's that. Right. So, Anyway, um, by the way, how's Easter? How was Easter for you? Easter's been great. It's been great. It was great. Right. Because it's already over. I know. But you said it's been great. I know. You know, some people are on spring break this week, and you know, the college that we went to went was on spring break last week, but then this high school we went to is on spring break this week. So, um, you know, it's, it's just switches around. You know, schools are trying to get to the point where they're trying to end the school the school time in at the in May, you know, yeah. like in the middle or ending of May, and a few Josh's college, you know, Josh goes to Butler and stuff, you know, right. Um, he, his last day of college at Butler is in, on May first. Really, you know, but he has to go back in the first week of August. That's what they're trying to do with a lot of schools now is try to get out in the middle towards the end of May, you know, right around Memorial Day weekend and stuff. And then they they resume school back at the beginning of first second week of August or in the middle of August and stuff. When we used to uh, when we were young, we actually started school after Labor Day weekend, you know, like in the in September, you know, early September, and we got out in early June and stuff. Right. But the last few years we were in school, uh, we began at the middle of August and got out the second week of June, you know. So uh, you know. Anyway, so spring break, some people are on spring break this week, some people were on spring break last week and stuff, you know. Like I said, sometimes some areas and some states, they have spring breaks in different, like they'll either have spring break before Easter or after Easter. There were a few times that we had spring break <coughs> before Easter and we had spring break after Easter. So uh, it just depends on what the school districts does. And uh, let me tell you something. I am so glad we don't go to school anymore. The school districts in a lot of states and a lot of schools have been getting so strict. I know. So strict. Um, apparently, um, I read this story sometime last year is that um, this uh, little girl, 
shaved her whole head off. Like she shaved all her hair because her friend had cancer, right? Right. Um, her best friend had cancer and uh, her friend lost all her hair. So what she did, she decided to shave all her all her hair off in support of her friend. You know what the school district did? They suspended her for two weeks wow. because she shaved her head. How is she? Why? I know. You're supporting a friend that your best friend that has cancer and you're getting suspended for it? I know. And, and you know what they said? They said it's a, it's a distraction of, of like the, uh, what do they call it? Like um, a restriction of clothes and stuff. But it's kind of like, um, um, I forgot what they call it. But like they think they suspended her because they thought it was going to be a distraction. Okay, it might be a distraction, you know, to see two girls have their, all their hair gone, you know. Right. And I forgot which state this happened in, too. I think it happened in Michigan. I don't remember. Um, I think it happened in Michigan or somewhere around there and stuff. But uh, she got suspended for two weeks because she shaved all her hair off in support of her friend that has cancer. Really? I know. Are you serious? That's like, stupid. I, if, if I was the parents of that daughter, I would have been livid. Yeah. I would have been livid. The parents were pissed. They were. And you know what? A lot of the people in that school... Um, we're upset about it too because you're supporting a friend dress code that's what it's called dress code violation you know thank right. you guys um, you know because they thought it was like a dress code violation how's that dress code I know yeah they said it was a dress code violation and a distraction because some girl has her hair shaved off just to support her best friend right that ticked me off reading that story it I, I I was I was upset. I was pissed off. Yeah. Because if if that was if I was the parents of that daughter, yeah, I would have been livid. I know. And the um the people um with not a lot of parents were not very happy. They were not. I would have not been happy. Right. Know? So uh, what the hell is wrong with supporting your friend or a family member in some sort of situation? You know. Exactly. <sighs> You know, it just bugs. I mean, you sometimes hear these stories how, you know, why are people getting suspended because of this? You know, like um, I would say if here's the thing, you know, our nephew, Jesse, right? Right. You know, he got suspended a couple years ago, right? Yeah. For a week because, you know, a kid uh, picked a fight with him. Yeah. And Jesse was there to defend himself. Yeah. And there's security cameras around in schools, especially in high schools. Even in our school, they had security cameras all over. They even looked at the security camera footage, you know. Right. And guess they guess what? They suspended Jesse because he was fighting back. Would you rather stand there and not do anything and just stand there and just get ready to be punched and kicked or possibly stabbed and shot, you know, instead of fighting back? And you get suspended for that because you're self-defending yourself, you know? That's stupid. That's what some school districts are getting to lately. I know. Schools come with stupid rules nowadays. That's what schools have been getting to lately, you know? It's ridiculous. You get suspended because you're self-defending yourself. You get suspended because you're in supporting a friend that has cancer. Right. Why? Why? What is the issue of supporting and self-defense? Here's what mom told me one day. Mm -hmm. If you and I ever got into a fight with someone, right, and we tr and you know this, here comes some person that has a knife or a gun out or it's gonna start punching and kicking the hell out of us, you know. And here we are trying to self defend us and try to fight back. And if we get suspended for it, my mother was gonna bring the news media out and just call out the school and call out the school district. That's how upset mom would have been. But Zach and I really never got into fights at school. We've no. always been good students, you know. We've always been good people, you know. So, I think, uh, what was the worst detention you had? The worst detention I had? Detention. Oh, detention. Yeah. Oh, that was from when... I've when... only had like two detentions ever in my school life. I, for I honestly forgot what it was about. But I did get detention one time, just you once. If it, which once I got detention twice. I think the worst one I had is when uh this was in elementary school. I this was in the fourth no third grade. This was in the third grade, and uh, 
I guess, uh, we, and you know, you know, after you eat your lunch, you go play in the playground and stuff, you know, right? So I was playing basketball with a few friends, you know, and uh, one of my friends asked me, um, "Hey, I have I have a birthday party on Saturday. Do you want? I'm, and I'm thinking about inviting you. Do you want to go?" And I told him, "Well, I was in my squeak voice. I was like, i uh, sorry, I I can't come this Saturday because I'm going out somewhere and stuff with my mom and dad and stuff, you know." And uh, this kid kept forcing me to come. He's like. Oh, come on, you come on, you should come to my party and stuff, you know? And I hate when people force me in doing things, you know? Like, I'd rather make the decision myself, you know? But if people force me to do something or go somewhere and stuff, it's like, no, you know, and stuff, you know? But this, you know, I keep telling them, no, I'm, bi- I'm, I'm not going to be home on Saturday because, mm-hmm. like I said, I'm going out somewhere with mom and dad, you know? But this kid, which just kept going on and on and on, he kept going on without uh, just trying to get, let me go to his party. So at the time, I had the basketball in my hand, right? Yeah. I had the basketball in my hand. And uh, this kid all of a sudden comes up to my face. And um, <laughs> this kid comes up in my face. He wasn't angry with me, but he was walking close to me, trying to force me to go to his birthday party. All of a sudden, I just lost it. I got upset because I keep telling him, no, I can't go, you know? But he kept forcing me to. All of a sudden, I lost it. I had the basketball in my hand. I threw it towards him and hit him right in the nose. Yeah. And all of a sudden, his nose started bleeding and stuff. He went to tattletale on me and uh, went to the nurse's office and one of the supervisors in the playground and stuff. And I got a detention the next day uh, for, what, two or three hours the next day mm. and stuff. And I had to write like a 20... Uh, 20 uh, line thing of what I did and why I got detention for it, you know? Right. But I just got pissed off, you know, and threw the yeah. basketball right at the kid's face. And um, <laughs> and he's crying and he's, his nose is bleeding and stuff. He went to go tattletale a supervisor. And then uh, the next day, the assistant principal uh, called me in and told was asking me all these questions, what happened and stuff. And I told her, he kept trying to invite me to his birthday party, and I keep telling him, no, because I'm not going to be home on that Saturday. And yet he kept forcing me. All of a sudden, he was walking towards me and stuff to my face, trying to bug bug me to try to go to his party. And I threw the basketball on his face because I was mad. I hate when people force me, you know? I know. And of course, I when you're a too. kid, when you're in third grade, you're a kid, you get mad easily, honestly, yeah. you know? And I used to be, I used to get mad a lot back then when people were yeah so <laughs> uh, it was it was just funny yeah i only had detention twice i forgot what the other detention was but i say the basketball okay. one was the worst now i remember what i got detention for it was for the stupidest reason too mm-hmm. it was i was trying to defend a girl you were trying to defend a yeah you you did yeah yeah you did i remember you could keep talking about it we well, see there's there was this one girl back in high school that I really liked, and there was one guy that kept, that kept, oh god, what do you call like, uh, like bugging us about us hanging out with each other. Mm-hmm. He got really annoyed about it. He tried to let me fight. He tried to fight me, but then I was actually trying to defend myself, and I was trying to defend her as well. Mm-hmm. Fighting over girls, huh? Yeah. That's what a lot of people are like. You know, you just fight over girls. It's oh, like, yeah. Not okay, even now worth I get it. stalking. It's not worth fighting over a girl, honestly. Right. It really isn't. But honestly, you were doing that, you know. But yeah. to me, honestly, if the girl doesn't <laughs> like you or, you know, the girl is, uh, you know, someone else likes a girl you like and stuff, honestly, still no reason to fight over them. I know it's, uh, you want this girl to like you more than the other guy but where is it going to take you honestly right you know you're just going to make the situation worse on yourself so that's why that's why like you said back in high school i didn't care about not being in a relationship you know because i see i don't rush things like that i'm like all right i'll see where my life takes me you know maybe in a few years or something like that i may be in a relationship it could happen next year could happen in a couple years could happen a few months from now you know yeah so it's like 
Who knows? So, uh, what did you do then? I forgot. We'll see. As the guy was stalking us, like, he told me to get away from her. Mm-hmm. And then he was tr- then he was trying to make me fight him. All I was just trying to do, all I did was just shove him to get away. No, did you, like, wait, didn't you tell me one day you, you grabbed his leg and flipped him up? Yeah, yeah, did you, did, I did that. I, mean, I did like, do that. Is that the story that, is that the story you're talking about? Yeah, is that's that the, the one. Yeah, I, yeah now told that me you one day it. He picked up this guy's leg and flinged him. Yeah. So yeah. I wasn't there because I was in their class. He was at PE at the time. But Zach told me uh, he picked up this guy's leg and flipped him up in the air. And just, wow. This kid just yeah. like flipped now, him. Now that you mentioned And it. then now I remember that day. And then I remember you telling me later that day you got, uh, you got on campus suspension, you know? And then I'm just like, you told me what happened. You told me you picked up that guy. said I was just like. Right on, man. <laughs> you know, yeah. like that's my brother. That's my brother. <laughs> you know, I remember I was like that. I'm like, yes, my brother is such a badass. You know. Yeah. I remember saying that. Now I remember that story. Okay. Yeah. I thought you were talking about something different, but then it just clicked my mind. Wait, it's the one that when you picked up that guy's leg, right? Right. Zach, you're a savage, man. Yeah. You're a savage. Me, I'm just like a wimp. No, I'm really not a wimp. If someone comes up to my face and wants to pick a fight with me, I don't mind the fight back, you know, right. and stuff. So, um, like, I'll be honest with you, Zach. You may have more of the upper body strength than me, mm-hmm. but I know more of the moves. Yeah. Zach, that is, Zach is honest with that. Honestly, I know fighting moves better, better than... Uh, oh, that went out. Uh, I... I'm better at the fighting moves than you. Yeah, you're you a little really stronger are. than me. I will give you that. You know, but Zach's a savage. You know, <laughs> Zach Cena. Zach Cena. <laughs> Hashtag Zach the Savage. I can't. We mean I can't fight. I fought before. I yeah, will say I've, I've lost seen, a couple. I've seen him fought before. Yeah, honestly, I've lost a couple fights. I right. will be honest about that. Right. I mean, I've won fights before. Like, even Zach and I, even back then, we used to wrestle together. And uh, actually, I've won. We were kind of even on on winning the fights. Like, you won some and I won some, you know? Right. And it's not like, like you were better than me or I was better than you. It seemed like we were even when we were wrestling and stuff, you know? So, like, you know what I mean? Right. Zach and I used to wrestle sometimes, like, together. And, uh, you know, it's either one of us winning. There's, like, really no one person dominating and stuff which right. is kind of cool you know like i said you're a little stronger than me i'll give you that but i have more of the moves right i will say that like because the reason why i know the moves is because you know our my you know jesse over here right you know you know of course irene's uh her mother his mother is a cop right right in la so she one one night when i was at jesse's birthday party um you know, she was teaching me all these moves that she has to do if someone went to fight her, you know, and stuff. You know what I mean? Right. So, <laughs> so, anyway. Oh, Zach, we should do a wrestling for versus. Oh, God, no. People are want. I can see this now. Oh, God, no. But anyway. But overall, I mean, I really am not like a fighter honestly no. unless if someone comes up to me and wants to pick a fight then i'm on for it you right. know but for i just don't uh-oh uh is that buffering that's not please tell me that's just okay it was just a buffer i thought the stream went off oh the stream did go off for a bit uh it looks like we're back live it looks like we're back live are yeah, we, sorry about that guys are we live guys so that's where live for me. Hold on, let me refresh. All right, the stream went down for a second. That was weird. All right, we're back. Um, wait, what time is it? Oh wow. Okay, we got a couple minutes left right. um, of this uh, talk show. So, uh, and I gotta get up to Verizon before they close. So, um, yeah. So anyway, um, you know, but uh, yeah, I'm really not a fighter at, at all. No, neither am I. I will say, um, 
But uh, unless someone comes up to me and wants to pick a fight with me. But uh, honestly, I have no reason to fight with anyone, you know? Yeah. I really don't hold grudges e at all. I really don't. I don't like, um, like, I'll probably be mad for like five or ten minutes and then I just get over it and stuff. You should see what NASCAR fans are like, Zach. Like, um, especially Gordon and Junior fans. They <laughs> get upset over every, And they stay mad for a certain drive for a long time. Like, a couple years ago. Ooh, sorry. Okay, couple years ago, um, 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 Gordon and uh, Brad Keselowski got into a on track incident, you know, and right. Gordon was pissed off and stuff after the race. He climbed out of his car, walked up to Keselowski. All of a sudden, Gordon grabs Keselowski by the collar, and and the fight is on with the crew members and stuff. And Gordon fans have hated Keselowski since then. It's been a yeah. year and a half and or so, and yet. You know, they just won't get over it. I got upset over what Keselowski did, but I got I got over it the next day because there's nothing you can do about it. It's not like you can go back and change what happened, you know? Right. So, um, you know, it just it happens. It's part of racing and stuff. So um, I just uh, – I, I can't get – I can't stay mad, like, you know, like I said. But uh, Gordon sucks, but why does he have 93 wins and four championships? Right. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I don't think that's a sucky driver. Um, stats wise, you may not like him, but whatever. Um, but anyway, yeah. Um, no. Gordon grabbed Keslowski. Look back at the video. Harvick pushed Keslowski towards Gordon, because Ke Ke Harvick went like, um, "Fight you, pussy," and stuff like that to Keslowski. And then Gordon reached in and grabbed. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, whatever. Um, yeah. You know. It is what it is. Right. It's just NASCAR fans, like, especially Jeff Gordon and Dale Jr. fans, are the best fans to read their comments to see how pissed off easily they can get. Thankfully, I was never one of those Gordon fans. Thankfully. Right. I was always, like, a calm Gordon fan. I mean, like I said, I'll get up for, like, I'll get upset for, like, 10 or 15 minutes but then i'm like over it same thing what happened that night you know so anyway um i think that should do it for this uh stream yeah. i think we had a good first talk show this we will, did this would go up on youtube sometime you know i think i'm gonna put this like i think i'm gonna put this uh talk show up on friday though like that's what i'm gonna try to do like try to get like um uh, do these talk shows maybe on Thursdays? Because every oh yeah, I didn't mention this at the beginning of the show that um, it's not gonna be Zach and I every week. It's not gonna be just Zach and I every week. Every once in a while, we'll have like other people joining us and stuff. Like we'll have our friends or family members and stuff. So keep an eye on that. So like when Josh and Steven comes out here this uh this June, they'll yeah. join us up on the show and stuff. And we'll invite our other friends and family members on the show every once in a while. So uh keep an eye out on that. It's like I said, it's not going to be like Zach and I every talk show because that'll be boring after a while. So we'll invite other people at times and stuff. So hope everyone enjoyed this uh talk show. Uh I think we're going to do episode 2 next Thursday next thursday instead because i want to move the talk shows to thursday instead of having it on wednesday and stuff so you know what i mean right. so anyway um yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this talk show the very first talk show tune in for episode two next week uh definitely will announce it um i will have a live stream up later tonight if the internet or once i get service and stuff i'm gonna have to go to verizon uh, right now and uh, get service again so because uh, it sucks you know I don't know why I'm getting no service at all so anyway thank you everyone for watching the live stream uh, the first talk show I'm Joseph Lombard aka Interesting 4 with Zachary Lombard aka Magnum 5 we will see you next week on another talk show on the Lombard Bros talk show have a great rest of your day and I'll see you later tonight hopefully if I get internet, good internet tonight and I'll see you on later live stream tonight see ya